Welcome back, everybody, to the day the conversation died on Steins Gate Zero. I'm your host, the Musical Gamer, and we had a bit of an interesting episode, and we're going to continue on and see where this uh, dead conversation is going to lead us. There were a ton of things I needed to talk to Suzuha about, but that was why I couldn't say a word. Maybe it was the same for her. Since there was nothing else to do, Suzuha and I turned back to the TV. The news was still on. As the newscaster spoke, I could see over a hundred women lined up in front of a store. On the TV, a girl in a pretty outfit was talking to an interviewer. <laughs> oh man, are you are you having like PTSD right now? Like a, like a little bout of PTSD. Jesus Christ. Only way to forget the tower was to become a killer yourself. That's really dark. Well, I guess this is World War III we're talking about. That was war. That was Suzuha's life. I'd been to many nightmarish world lines, but none of them were that bad. Daru had made the time machine that brought Suzuha here. It was far more powerful than the one that existed in the Alpha World line. I'm assuming because, bro well, probably he had more time to work on it. Fighting the good fight. Yeah, that'd be a little insensitive, wouldn't it? And you lost your mother, too. Daru was still staring at the computer screen, but I could see him twitch. He must have been listening to Suzuha while he had pretended to look at the screen. Yeah, that, that's going to be tough for him to do, to know that. The, he knows the woman he's going to marry in the future, and he knows that she's going to get murdered in this conflict. God, that is brutal. <laughs> this was the first time I'd heard about Yuki Amane died. She was in the next room right now, having fun in the shower. And that was how she was going to die? Oh god, you don't need to get so graphic, please. Maybe the reason Suzuha didn't want to talk to her mother in 2010 was that she didn't want her asking about the future. There was no way Suzuha could tell her that. At some point, Suzuha's eyes had started to overflow with tears. Hell. What are you gonna do, dude? I mean, this is nuts. Like, I understand that the hell you went through in the Alpha World Lines, and then just to make it back to the Beta World Line and find out that you're the one who killed her to begin with? That's... I get it. That is that is literally probably one of the worst ways a human being could feel, but with this kind of a, a threat looming on the horizon? Oh my god. I don't know. I, I don't even know what I would do in this situation. I knew it. In my mind, I knew it. The right thing to do was to do as she asked. But... I 
みたくないよ。The sensation I felt when the knife slipped into her flesh, and I took the life of the girl I loved. It went from my hand to my arm, and then to the rest of my body, and I started shaking. My vision blurred, then almost went black. My hands went to my mouth. Yeah, th this is true PTSD right here. There was a wave of pain, like my stomach was turning inside out. <laughs> Suzuha poured me a cup, a cup of water, and I gulped it down. I sank into the sofa and tried to calm down. スズハの言いたいことも気持ちもよくわかるんだけど俺は何度も世界線を漂流してきたここことは違う世界線でタイムマシンに運命を翻弄される人たちを見てきただ。That is true too. I looked straight into Suzuha's eyes. Multiple times, too. It, it is kind of fucked up. <laughs> You're basically... He who controls time is basically almost like God. Humanity was powerless before the laws of this world. この宇宙の仕組みから逸脱することだ。俺たち人間が手を出していい領域じゃない。いわば神の領分なんだ。Yeah, seriously, I just said that. それに触れれば、俺たちはもっともっと残酷な罰を受けることになる。俺はそう思う。それが。オカリンおじさんの答えなの。少なくとも今はな。そう。ただの人間だと。なじってくれてもいい。うん。そんなことしないよ。Suzuha looked up at the ceiling and sighed. That must have been a habit she'd picked up lately. I wonder why. Oh, news story. 厚生労働省は。アメリカで猛威を振るっている新型の農園ウイルスについて、今のところ日本国内での発症例は報告されていないと発表しました。Encephalitis? What? What does this have to do with anything? この新型農園は潜伏期間が長いことから、すでに国内に上陸している可能性も否定できないとして。Uh-oh. Uh, is this a bad thing? 感染症法に基づき、全国の医療機関に対して、新型農園対策と感染症発生動向の速やかな調査を指示しましたここからはお茶の水医科大学の春山宗子教授にお話を伺います春山さんこの新型の農園というのは具体的にはどのような症状が出るものなのでしょうか Oh God, this is going to be a case of Chekhov's gun. They're going to talk about this, and it's going to happen at some point. 新型農園は感染力は弱いのですが潜伏期間が長く突然発症します。症状としては幻覚や記憶障害が主ですね。例えば、あったこともない人に会った記憶があるというような症例が報告されています。あとは実際には発生していない事件が起こった覚えがあるなどといった記憶の混乱も現れているようです。あ、ウェイ、ウェ
他の農園と違いまして適切な治療を受ければ比較的速やかに感知することが分かっていますですのでもし国内で感染者が出たとしてもそれほど恐れることはないと思いますよ Hmm, so you say. The reporter was still talking, but I couldn't hear what she was saying. The information I just heard was that shocking. A new kind of encephalitis? I knew the symptoms she was describing. Losing the ability to discriminate between dreams and reality. Losing your sense of the passage of time. Your memories no longer match those of the people around you. This sounds like what happens to Ocarine. That. that was. that was exactly the same as reading Steiner. Are people suddenly getting the reading Steiner ability? Is that what's happening? Oh, Suzuha again. Ah, 1970. 1975? Excuse me? Ah, lovely. I arrive in 1975 and I've already made a girl cry. Oh, that's my life in a nutshell. Aw,、oh, man. Kagari is like so scared. The interior of the time machine smelled like metal and was covered in instruments of different sizes. The girl inside was sobbing. It had been almost an hour since Suzuha had left to go look around. She'd assumed that Kagari would have stopped crying by then, but she'd had no such luck. <laughs> oh, come on, she's just a kid. <laughs> Kagari Shina looked up at Suzuha, her face wet with tears. Mama. Dakara, Nakunja, and I. Utoshi. Demo. Suzuha walked over to Kagari and knelt down, so they'd be at eye level. She had no intention of spoiling her. Her goal was to save billions of lives, and this was her first mission. Ika? Korekara, a Kagari mo. ワルキューレの一員とみなす私の部下として扱う非戦闘員じゃないからな A member of Valkyrie? What is Valkyrie? Game? Uh, Demi got us I know who I know what a Valkyrie is Okay I, I, I thought maybe that was the name of like their organization or something That's weird An anime called Blood Toon The animation <laughs> Fictional A、uh, live streaming service offered by the major streaming site Nico Nia Video. Uh huh, of course. Upa. Lots of Upas. All the Upas. Brown Tube Workshop. Future Gadget number five. Once again, I've made a worthless object by Goemon. <laughs> the names! The names they come up with for some of these goddamn things. It's hilarious. Koko was 1975 Nenda. Shitter Ningen wa dare mo inai. お父さんもマヨネーさんも出生してないつまり誰も守ってくれないんだ G real comforting thought there 自分の身を守るのは自分だけだと思えいいなうんカガリは素晴らしい女の子だったのに彼女は彼女の気持ちを守るのは彼女の気持ちを守るのは彼女の気持ちを守るのは彼女の気持ちを守るのは彼女の気持ちを守るあまり時間がないこの時代の人間にタイムマシンが見つかったら大騒ぎだ The machine had landed on the roof of the radio building which wasn't a spot that people visited often The chances of anyone finding it were slim but in this era they had no one to help them conceal it That meant they couldn't stay long She needed to finish her mission quickly and move to the next time period She's the 1975 I believe to find the IBN the, the IBN 5100 right? I'm pretty sure. 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 I'm pretty She looks like a mini Kurisu. What, what is with this girl? Kagari looks surprised. Her eyes narrowed at the bright sunlight. The sky above Tokyo in this time period was too dirty to be called blue. Smoke and dust clouds filled with who knew what were rising from the rows of smokestacks. It all combined with black exhaust from the cars that scurried along the ground to create a smog so thick you could literally see it. Yeah, this is, uh. 
<laughs> this is back in a time period where people were not nearly as uh, environmentally conscious. That is for sure. The sky above the city was covered by a veil of death. But still, it was the first clear sky that Kagari had ever seen. She had only ever known from books and videos that the sky could be this bright. The nuclear weapons used during the Third World War had changed the weather over Tokyo, and the sky was constantly covered in dull gray clouds. Oh, that's depressing. The sun's light was always weak when it shone through them, and it was never this bright. So basically, it's like almost a pseudo-nuclear winter. Suzuha looked up at the sky, too. In 2036, you needed a filter and a mask to go outside for any length of time. Compared to that, 1975 was a lot cleaner. Holy shit! Oh my god, you can't even go outside and breathe the air? Oh, dear lord. God, oh, 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 Come on. Come on, man. どうしてかがり <laughs> slipped her hand into her pocket and took out the, fa the faded green upa keychain. She stared at it with a sad look on her face. She was probably thinking about Mayuri, her mother. And she was probably trying to understand what it meant that her mother had put in her inside the time machine. Suzuha had decided that Kagari was alright now, and closed the hatch on the time machine from the outside. The lock flipped on automatically. The only person who could open it right now was Suzuha, whose biometrics had been loaded into the system ahead of time. Even if someone did find the machine, it would be a while before they found out what it was. Kagari, kore o miro. Oh, look at her smile! Oh, is that the com- That's the computer. Suza ha handed her a printout of a photo. Oh, it's a picture of the computer. Okay. Kore nani? IBN 5100 っていうレトロ PC だ。私たちの時代に存在していたものは、どれも満足に動かない。けど、この時代なら感動品が入手できる。これを手分けして探すのが私とお前の最初のミッションだ。うん。連絡はこれで。She handed Kagari a small transceiver. 通信できる距離はかなり短いらしいから気休め程度だと思え。えっと、大きい時。<laughs> oh, she's so cute! 90分ごとにこのビルの前に集合。状況を確認。それを繰り返す。いいな。大きい動機。Oh, <laughs> she's a little soldier. It's adorable. Suzuha nodded and patted Kagari on the head. Oh, uh, she's... Mission開始! <laughs> she's so cute. I cannot envision how this could... Possibly go wrong at all. Nope, not me, and not one bit. <laughs> Suzuha was on the top of the radio building in 2010, looking down. <laughs> That's how long ago it had been in real time since she'd spoken to Kagari here. From her perspective, it had only been a few months. The view from up here had changed a lot since then. And in the next 26 years, it would change even more. She'd seen herself for herself how this building changed over a span of 61 years. The thought didn't make her feel sentimental. Instead, she felt the loneliness and fear that comes from having a past not shared with anyone else. Using the time machine to change the world lines means breaking the rules of the universe. Ritaro Okabe's words flashed through her mind. Still, lately, she'd been thinking more about Kagari. She'd been searching the city at regular intervals. She was looking for Kagari Shina. Oh, how did I know? She didn't even know if she was in Tokyo. She had no clues. She didn't even know what Kagari looked like now. So maybe it was a waste of time. Even so, she had to find Kagari herself. Yeah, uh, it's, uh, that's not good. She hadn't any better luck today. The, the girl has been missing for what? Since 1975? She turned around and looked toward the time machine. 
She would come here every day. The primary reason for her coming here was to see if her father, Itaro Hashida, had been here. Anytime she let her guard down, he would come to try and examine it. She told him it would cause a time paradox, but he didn't listen. She needed to keep the constant watch. To be honest, she had a lot of things she had to do. And then she heard the metal door to the roof open. Was it her dad? She squinted into the darkness, but the person she saw was much smaller than Itaru, and had cat ears coming out. Oh, it's Ferris! It's totally- yep, it's Ferris. <laughs> Ferris Nyan-Nyan had a spring in her step as she approached- Approached Susan. Ferris Nyan-Nyan. Oh, God. Ferris's real name was Rumiho Akiha. She was Daru's friend and had helped them in many different ways in 2036. So Suzuha had known her ever since she was very young and had always called her Big Sis Rumi. For whatever reason, in this era, she always wanted to be called Ferris, though. When Suzuha asked why, she simply responded, Ferris is Ferris, nya. On an answer that meant nothing to Suza. <laughs> yeah, no way you could know. Ferris showed her a cake box with the logo from the maid cafe where she worked. May Queen Nyan Nyan. May, May, May Queen Nyan Squared? I'm still, I'm still not sure what, what's the proper way to call that building. If he ate something like that at this hour, he'd get even fatter. <laughs> oh, poor Daru. Ferris grinned and nudged Suzuha in the spine with her side with her elbow. Yeah, in the spine. That's it. Just nudge her a little bit in the spine. Wait until she collapses. Uh, Ferris opened up the box and showed her what was inside. Suzuha could smell the sweet cream and fruit. Why do we get the feeling she doesn't like this stuff, Ferris? <laughs> Ferris laughed and handed over the box. <laughs> Me were welcome. <laughs> Ferris gave her a mischievous wink and looked up at this time machine beside them. Suzuha looked around the roof as she asked. It was solely thanks to Ferris that no one had really noticed the massive object on the roof. She was the heir to a rich family that had a lot of influence in this area, and it contributed a lot to the development of Akihabara. She was helping to hide the time machine. A VR game? Oh, all right, I mean, fair enough. If it works. If it works, it works. I ain't gonna complain. Uh, whoa, you're throwing out words at me. I don't know what they mean. What the hell? What is this? Uh, winged interstellar creatures, the Byaki, uh, that appear in the Cthulhu Mythos. Oh, I need to read up on my Cthulhu Mythos. That's that's what I need to do. They were created by August Derleth, the co-creator of the Cthulhu Mythos, along with H.P. Lovecraft, and appear in such stories as The House on Current Street. They are described as being chimera-like creatures with around three meters tall, with the wings of a, a pterosaur. Oh god. The legs of an eagle and the tail like a bee. A tail like a bee's? What? A bee? Is it got a stinger? 
Despite their terrifying appearance, they understand human speech, and they, if they feel it's in their best interest, they can even work together with humans. Oh, okay. In space, they usually travel at around one-tenth of the light speed, but an organ called the Hune in their tail allows them to fly faster than the speed of light. The Biaki are supposedly servants of the Hastor, the god of shepherds, uh, a creation of Ambrose Bierce, author of the famous Devil's Dictionary. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. I really need to read up on my Cthulian, my Cthulian mythos. All praise Cthulhu. Uh, the four spirits are controlling the elements of earth, water, fire, and air. Ah, uh, the four elementals. Right, right, right. The gnomes, pygmies, salamanders, the fire, the Vulcans. Ah, uh, Paracelsus. Ah, uh, Paracelsus' theory had a, uh, had a huge effect on alchemists and authors of both of his own and later generations. Well, I know Paracelsus. I summoned him in fake grand order. IBM's first portable computer. That Yeah, that's the IBM 5100. Read that if you want. Pause if you need to. I ain't gonna spend too much time on those, uh, so, logs. So... から、いや、今からしたら未来か。思ってたんだけどさ、ルミネさんの話って時々すごく難しくなるんだよね。一体何語？What <laughs> language is that? 考えるんじゃない。感じるのにゃ。Don't think, feel. Oh, please do not tell me that's a persona reference. いいや、いいや。うう、寒いにゃ。Alright, in the end, she never could get an answer. To Suzuha, Ferris was always a great mystery. Yeah, there is an air of mystery about her. She's kind of an enigma, when you think about it. Before she finished her sentence, she felt someone looking at her. She glanced around. Wait, what? What? Uh, excuse me? She listened carefully. She definitely heard a very faint sound from the direction of the metal door that led to the stairs. It was small enough that Suzuha was only able to notice it because of her training. Uh, excuse me? Oh no, oh no, what's gonna happen? Hello? Suzuha yanked her gun out of her jacket. Oh my god, what? Oh, he! Oh, 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 what's going on? She got further and further away. She opened up a door and jumped out of the landing. And she raced down the stairs, skipping three steps with every stride. Damn, that's fast. But still, it wasn't fast enough. Oh, God. Suzuha was born fast, and she'd been trained to be faster. But it wasn't enough. Who is this? When she finally made it to the second floor, she could hear the loud revving of a motorcycle. What? <laughs> She panicked and slipped down an object that had been left halfway up the stairs and then rolled her way to the bottom. She managed to get into the right position and protect her head so it was her hips that struck the ground. Ow. That still hurts, though. She forced herself to stand up and run outside. She could see the taillights of a large motorcycle speeding away. Oh my god! The driver was wearing a black helmet and riding suit and already a good distance away so she couldn't even tell if they were a man or woman. They revved their engine loudly as if to mock her, and then spun a corner and disappeared onto Center Street. Uh... <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> a little later, Ferris caught up. Yeah, uh, put the gun away. Keep it concealed. <laughs> Conceal carry, baby. It works. She put the gun in her hand, back in her jacket holster, and brushed away the hair. Our hair that sweat and stuck. At, bleh! Brushed away hair that sweat had stuck to her brow. I can't speak. It's been a long day. <laughs> a, a bag? 
しかも私がそこを通るタイミングでエンジンを空ぶかしした This seems like a professional. 見事に引っかかったよトラップってことかにゃああいうことがとっさにできるっていうのは特殊な訓練を受けてるからだじゃなきゃ無理、oh, Who is it then? Who could have done it? Suzaha glared in the direction the bike disappeared and started to think. I can only think of one person. Maybe, actually, no, two, I guess. That it could potentially be. Who was it? CERN? That's what I was thinking. There was an unofficial CERN group, the Rounders, that were searching for IBM 5100s in Akihabara. Rintaro Okabe had told her that. But he'd only encountered them in another world line. Yeah, would they even be doing this in the beta world line? That's the thing. I assumed they wouldn't. In the Alpha World line, CERN is the one that becomes the,、uh, creates a dystopia in the, by the year 2036 by <laughs> completing their own time machine and then basically consolidating all sorts of time machines only under CERN's use. They created a dystopia and was ruling the planet that way. No World War III, but not a, still not a very nice future. In this timeline, CERN doesn't do that. CERN is like benign as far as I was aware, but maybe not. I guess it was a little naive of me to think that CERN wouldn't be doing the same thing in this timeline compared to the other, or the world line, I should say. Was it that they knew about it or weren't going to do anything more? Or did they intend to steal the time machine from her? Since she didn't know, she had to assume the worst or she wouldn't be prepared to deal with it. She looked up to the sky and sighed. It was becoming a bad habit. <laughs> well, <laughs> not the worst habit. <laughs> このことはオカリンおじさんには内密にしておいてにゃんで今のオカリンおじさんが知ったらタイムマシンを破壊しろって言いかねない危険だからってでしょあー、you know what actually I could, I could totally see him saying that too そうにゃけど私は絶対にマシンを守るよシュタインズゲートの入り口へオカリンおじさんを連れて行かなきゃいけないんだからそれが未来の父さんとの私をここに送り出してくれた人たちみんなとの約束だからさスズニャわかったにゃその代わりダルニャにだけはちゃんと話しておくこと大きい動機はい、well yeah I guess we should let Daru know at least oh no why do I have a feeling this thing's gonna get stolen the last part was almost a whisper as her words melted into Akihabara's sky Oh boy, that is some serious stuff right there.、Uh, oh, great, now we're going back to Maho? Why? Where'd we be jumping perspectives quite a bit? Maho Hiyajo was fidgeting. She knew exactly why, but she just still didn't want to admit it. Maho, Jumbi wa dekita kai? Ah, hi! She awkwardly stood up from the chair as Dr. Leskinen spoke to her. Hmm. なんですか少しはあおめかしするかと思ったんだが、魔法はマイペースだね。Wait, what? What do you mean? Dr. Leskin stared at her for a moment, then spoke. Wait, her appearance? Oh, her outfit! <laughs> この前みたいにパーティーに出席するわけじゃないんですから。But you still went in your lab coat! あの時だって、白衣のままだったじゃないか。<laughs> yeah! <laughs> Like, wait a minute, you still wore your lab coat to the party. <laughs> Dr. Leskinen was wearing his translator all the time these days. In fact, he had actually told Maho to talk to him in Japanese. Sate, Crystal Rintaro wa douyu kanke o kizite iru kana? Ao no ga tanoshimi da yo. Maho and Dr. Leskinen were about to head into Tokyo pup,、uh, proper. There they were to meet Rintaro Okabe. It had been two weeks since they first, first asked him to test Amadeus. It was time for the first report. Of course, that was the reason Maho was fidgeting. She was nervous to meet Okabe. No, to see Kurisu for the first time in quite a while. Of course, Maho was able to talk to Kurisu anytime she wanted, but since she'd asked Okabe to be a tester, she'd try to avoid doing so as much as possible. She didn't want her conversations to add any extra noise. Kyoju, should pass through my knee. Kitotsu, Kitemo. 
なんなる伊藤なぜ岡部さんなんですか Why him? Hmm, that is a good question. Maho had wanted to ask Dr. Leskin in that for a long time. If she was going to ask it though, now is the time. Hmm. Dr. Leskin in thought for a minute. Shito shiteiru no kai, Maho. So, so r e a Are you? Are you little jelly? She felt heart, <laughs> heat flush to her face. In other words, he was right. Yeah, she was jealous of Okabe. Not that she wanted to admit it. Couldn't be impartial, I'm assuming. Rintaro wa i s e n e n d a o Lintalo. <laughs> Lintalo. Honki de so sinji de irunara. Kyoji wa ohito yos des. Hito no honshi zo. Nichi do atta dake de rikai suru koto nante. Fukano des yo. Moshi kare ga watashi tachi ni kakrete. Hoka no kenkyo sha ni amadeus o uri watashi tachi matara. Sai sho wa sono tsumori wa nakata to stemo. Hoka no mai ni stara. Kimochi ga yuragu koto da te arimasu. Sore ga ningen to yu mono des. I would imagine that Amadeus just would refuse to work with them. Yeah, this is the thing. If you make an AI with like an actual personality and conscience and, and basically free will, well, almost free will, I assume. I doubt it would actually work with anybody else. So, it's like, I don't know. It's like basically asking somebody who kidnapped you. It's, it's basically a kidnapper asking the kidnapped to help them, I, I don't know,、uh, buy them fast food or something. It's like, really? You, you think I'm gonna do that for you, dude? No, I'm not. Maho asked herself the question and then realized the chance was almost zero. I am not. So, Ari and I. Nazenara sona jita ni nareba, Chris no hoga, Taiwa o kyohi suru daro karane. Emteus wa so you imite, totemo mendok sai system dio. Nakanaka, cochira no omoidori niwa, uvoite krenai. Mochiron emdeus ga, setok saleru kano semo aru daro keredo. So no tameni, watashiwa, moderate naru, jinkakuni. Why? Because they're stubborn? <laughs> they're stubborn and difficult to deal with? <laughs> Gave her a mischievous wink. Yeah, that's, that's saying it lightly. She knew he was teasing her, so she decided to say it. I can't even. Kimi t a j i w a h o n t o n i y o s h a n a i <laughs> you two are truly merciless. <laughs> oh, should you really be saying that? Oh, God. And what are the others like? That's a little terrifying. He laughed happily. He always had a childlike innocence about him. Emdeus no AI wa hitosuji nawa dewa ikanai wake de ne? Dakara koso omoshiroi tomo yer. Sonna kanojo tachi wo miuchi dake de toksen shite itemo shimpo wa nai da ro. Emdeus ga gekitekina shinka wo togeru tame no kibaku zai no yona mono ga chodo hoshi to kangae te ita tokoro nanda. Shikamo narubeku kenkyu to wa mukan ke na jimbutsu ni azke te kata. Wintaro wa so me da shi, tekinin da to o motanda. Chris no yujin demo at the wake da shi. I guess I can't really fault your logic there, dude. You got a point. Tell me, Izu, kyo no hokoku shi dai de, handan shi demo in janai ka? Chris ga Wintaro to sgoste, do henka shi tano ka o miki wame ta karo da ne? Watashi tachi ga meita koto no nai yona, igai na ichimen wo nosukase te kreru kamo shira nai yo. 
Hi. That was what was making her nervous. If Kurisu changed into someone she didn't know, that would make her sad. Sorosoro Jukanda. Leo. Maho nodded. Oh, all right, time to go meet a. Uh, time to go meet them, the man of the hour. And here he is, good old Gloomy Gus himself. Oh my God! Now it's the fifteenth, December fifteenth. It's almost my birthday, actually. Wow, it's been ten days since we were last him. I walked onto the grounds of Yanabayashi Shrine, and quietly took a look around. Several cats were sunbathing beneath the cold winter sky, but there was no sign of anyone else. Lukako wasn't back from school yet. Okay, I could talk to Krisu without anyone staring at me here. I was supposed to meet with Dr. Leskin and Maho after this. Before that happened, I wanted to confirm something with Kurisu. I decided to start the app. Quick, quick saved. It, it quick saved. Whenever I talked to Kurisu, I needed to pay attention to where I was. People would stare if I did it in a crowded place. And I couldn't do it around my family or anyone I knew. In that sense, with the exception of the fact that Lukako and Mayuri might show up, Yanabayashi Shrine wasn't a bad spot. Hello? 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 How you how you doing there? How you doing there, Krisu? Hanashigaru. How you doing, Christina? We need to talk. Yeah, we do. あ、緊張する必要はないんじゃない基本的にはログを提出して、what did you talk about? それを今回教授とヒアジョウさんに提出するのか。多分そう。ということはプライベートのことをお前に喋ろうものなら、ヒアジョウさんやレスキネン教授に続けっていうことか。Oh, well, yeah, that could be a little awkward. あんたね、今さら。<laughs> yeah, it was a little late. Kurisu and I have been talking for two weeks. I should have asked her about this when I got the access key for Amadeus. <laughs> I just realized today. Oh, I done fucked up. Nah,俺これまでに何かまずいことを話さなかったか。例えば合コンでろくに女の子と話せなかったこととか、実家が八百屋さんなのにナスが嫌いなこととか。if that was all, I didn't really care. あんたが最初に私と話した時にクリスティーナって呼んだこととか? Ah. Yeah, that that that's going to be a fun one to explain. それについては忘れてくれ。人の記憶は曖昧で、時間が経てば経つほど主観が入り混じるし、物語が付与されていく。その内容が ポジティブかネガティブかに関係なく、印象的な言葉しか思い出さないことも多い。それに引きずられて、前後の会話の記憶はねじ曲げられていく。Okay, where where are you going with this? Huh? What was she talking about? Yeah, like what what why are you saying this right now? それが悪いことだと言ってるわけじゃない。人の記憶というのはそういうものなんだから。でも、アマデウスは人じゃない。it's a really weird thing that you're able to say that about yourself. I don't know how to feel. So, wait, is she basically saying that she can remember just everything? So she will never forget something once you tell her. Well, I guess that just kind of comes to what you consider unneeded. If Amadeus believes it's not unneeded, then I guess it won't forget it. Eh, 
私たちはまるで秘密の日記のようにログを取ってるって。Ah,、uh, so nothing's ever truly forgotten. You could just look back at your own logs to remember something. Huh. Interesting. So basically, what that means is that you never actually truly forget something. You might have a momentary lapse in memory of something, but as soon as you load a log, it's, it's back again. So, in that sense, you have total recall. Interesting. But isn't that kind of a design flaw and for what they're actually trying to make Amadeus do? It's、mm. kind of paradoxical in nature. Well, not meh, paradox isn't the right word. I, 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 I don't know what the word I'm looking for is.、Uh, oxymoronic, maybe? I don't know. In other words, asking her to forget was a waste of time? <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically like telling, saying to you, I'm going to lobotomize you now. <laughs> Please hold still. While I delete your brain. So the only possible thing to do would be to erase everything. So the only possible thing to do would be to erase everything. I didn't have that level of access, and I didn't understand how the program worked at all. I am just a simple pleb. <laughs> Leave me be. So basically, until I told Kurisu why I called her Christina, she was going to keep asking. What a pain. Christina? <laughs> 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 R、Ryan? Is that, is that a joke about. Yeah, fictional. Because I know, I know the thing in Japan's called Line. I just figured they're calling it weird.、Uh, and it's a messaging application developed by Itar. Oh, Daru! All the users have it installed. They can communicate with one another via voice and chat. It's a privately developed software and isn't available on the internet. Right now, only Itaru Hashida and his friends and acquaintances use it. Interesting. So I guess he gave it to her? そんな調子で無邪気に首を突っ込むといつか痛い目を見るぞ。研究者はそれぐらいじゃないとやっていけないのよ。She got mad at me. <laughs> We pissed her off. We pissed off the program. そんなにクリスティーナの件が気になるなら、推論でも立ててみたらどうだ一応、いくつかの可能性は考えてはみた。聞いて。Oh boy. This is, gonna, this is gonna be interesting. Theory one! Christina Nanchara to you, Namino, Hariut to you, Skidder. Divunga Hariut to you, Namino, Bibo no Mochinusida to them. That's a little random, but okay. Mitame a canke nai. Unajina mino stony sinking can mozno to me, Tayo Namio. Somebody call it a walker. What a shua. Oka berinta roca a sinking can or motarete. We'll turn this around on you yet. Oh, believe me, we will. It'll happen. Whenever I talk to Kurisu, I always wanted a teaser. I needed to watch out. もしかしたら、日本語ペラペラの金髪ブロンド美女と付き合っていたかもしれないだろう。もしかしたの。Did you? うう。沈黙は敗北を認めることと同意よ。Silence is an admission of defeat. Oh no! I don't want to lose! Damn it! 可能性その三。オリジナルの私と面識があって、直接。
あるいは間接的にそう呼んでいた。Oh, God damn it. <笑>これも確率低いでしょうね。そんな風に呼ばれたら、私ならこう答える。ティーナってつけるな。え、no. <笑> exactly what you said too。Yep, that was exactly right. That's exactly what she said. But I didn't stop because. てれくさかったんだ。The genius named Kurisu Makise was the person I always wanted to be. ああ。何しろモニターの中にいる女の子と話すなんて一度もない経験だったからあちょっそれはどうも<笑> You're welcome I think She's all embarrassed んなんで Her heart's going doki doki right now Why are you blushing Should you be blushing 赤くなんてなってないしただ女の子扱いされるなんて思ってもみなかったからちょっとびっくりしただけで<笑> Do you like it? is the question Even that reaction was just like Kurisu 俺はお前のそういうところが好き<笑> Oh 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 He almost slipped I shuddered What was I about to say? This was a 3D model on a screen, a tiny collection of zeros and ones in the shape of a human. What was I about to say to her? Well, yeah. Oh boy. We would, we would be here for like, I don't even know, a good couple days trying to explain it. Christina, the Obarete, what does she want? 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 I was hit with a violent urge to throw up. I could see Kurisu in front of me, covered in blood. She was looking at me, her eyes cold. Yikes. Yikes. Oh god, that is awful. I touched the smartphone and ended the call. Then I became too dizzy to stand. Oh my god. I tried to throw up, but nothing came out. He's just retching on the ground. My hands were shaking. That's right. I can't change reality. But there I was, trying to talk to Kurisu like nothing had happened. I was treating her like the real Kurisu and trying to avert my eyes from what I'd done. I was just clinging to Kurisu. This was wrong. I shouldn't talk to Kurisu anymore. Do I get the do I get the option to answer? I really want to answer. My curiosity oh my god, no, I don't think he would, but <laughs> I shouldn't talk to her anymore. I'm going to do it. Nanda. I want him to face his fears here. Like I want him to face his fears. Oh god, I don't know if I should though. This is oh, oh I feel so conflicted. Oh man. Nanda Janai Kunikirunde. どうかしたの何でもない。でも、ひどい顔色してるじゃない。本当に何でもない。放っておいてくれ。しばらく連絡してこないでくれると。助かる。あまり無理せずに誰か知り合いに連絡しなさいよ。それじゃ。Alright,
Kurisu gave up easier than I expected. Maybe she realized that as an artificial intelligence, there was nothing she could do. Realized? I was making her sound like a real person. In the second that thought crossed my mind, I almost saw the image of a bloody hand. I gritted my teeth and waited for it to pass. I should really turn my smartphone off until I calm down a little. Can I do that, actually? Power off. Oh, I have the option to. Um. Ooh. Okay. How about this? We're going to call it good here. Next time, when we come back to some more Stein's Gate, I will decide whether that's actually the right thing to do or not. Hmm. I have a feeling if we leave it on, we're going to get contacted by someone or something, even if it's Amadeus herself. But if we turn it off, what's going to happen? I don't know. It's a choice. So, that's all for me. Thanks all for watching. This is the Musical Gamer signing off. I will catch you guys in the next video. See you guys then.